Q17 blending thinner is used with Q7 Plus clear coat for refinishing work. Spraying it on the clear coat interface can dissolve over spray particles and eliminate overlap marks. Sand the entire repair area with 1500 to 2000 mesh sandpaper until it has a matte gloss and make a proper mask. Clean and degrease the entire repair area before spraying the base coat. Then spray the base coat with attention to controlling the spray area. For light colors like silver, use slow drying thinner. Spray once, dry, and wipe with a cloth. Use multiple thin coats to avoid issues like fisheye due to uneven drying. For dark colors, simply cover and control the spray area. Once the base coat is touch dry or is ready for tack cloth wiping, apply the clear coat. Mix Q7 Plus Lightning Clear Coat in a 4 to 1 to 2.5 ratio. The first clear coat application should cover only the areas previously covered by the base coat. For the second clear coat application, it should extend slightly beyond the coverage of the first layer. This creates a transition from thick to thin clear coat preventing excessive thickness at the interface area. Both clear coat applications should be sprayed within the sanding area and reserve a spraying area for Q17 blending thinner. After applying the clear coat, Q17 blending thinner can be sprayed. No mixing is required for Q17 blending thinner. Clean any excess clear coat from the spray gun then pour the blending thinner into the spray gun or directly using a clean spray gun. Spray Q17 blending thinner at the clear coat interface. It should be applied multiple times, divided into several light coats, ensuring there are no sagging. Continue to spray until the blending thinner dissolves and levels the oversprayed particles at the clear coat interface. Be cautious not to overspray beyond the sanding area, and you can leave some sanding marks. Ventilate the film surface, continue to ventilate and flash off for 10 minutes. Wear a protective mask and use a preheated UV lamp to irradiate the repaired coating film back and forth for 30 seconds. To one minute, the interface area could be irradiated multiple times to enhance drying. The film can be polished once the irradiation process is done. If there are imperfections on the clear coat, can use 2000 mesh sandpaper for sanding? Do not to sand the interface area. Use 3M6085A polishing wax with a medium rough foam pad. Directly polish the clear coat and interface area. Start with a slow rotational speed to remove sanding marks on the old paint film, and then increase the speed to restore gloss. If there are defects at the interface, you can lightly sand after polishing but be cautious not to sand through the blending thinner. With that, the entire interface repair process is completed. Be mindful of the spray area when applying base coat and clear coat, ensuring it does not exceed the sanding area. When repairing with an interface, it must to use a specialized blending thinner. The blending thinner should be sprayed until it dissolves and levels over spray particles at the interface of the clear coat. After spraying the blending thinner, pay attention to the flash off time. Allow for ventilation, continue with air extraction, and flash off no less than 10 minutes. In cases of low temperatures or raining, extend the flash off time for both clear coat and blending thinner. Ensure the flash off time before using the UV light and ensure the sufficient irradiating time of UV light. That will guarantee the drying results of the coating film. The better the coating film dries, the better the polishing results. No sanding is required for the interface. It can be polished directly during polishing. Remove sanding marks first and then restore the gloss. The interface will disappear seamlessly during this process. Thank you.